uh, this is me. I'm in 2017. I just got out a abusive relationship with my workplace. I worked for the Department of Defense for nine years. I got out and uh, I didn't want to work anymore. I want to go and open a bike shop because I'm bike crazy. But I didn't do that because I saw an ad in Craigslist. That was weird. They say, we are looking for a cool guy to help us to figure out our code. I say, OK. I just called them. and they, We are in Nashville, Tennessee. OK, send me a ticket. They sent me a ticket. And I went there, and I look at their code. That was a mvc.net core or something. Not, not, not core, dot .net, all dot .net job. But long story short, uh, there was a project going on over there, uh, which I cannot talk about it because my boss told me don't talk about it. But <laughs> there was a project there which was kind of a startup things for the company. The company I work for, I can say that, is a utility bill company. They helping the uh, water company, electricity companies, or gas companies, and even somehow in the police for the fine and everything, charge credit card. And uh, the other the other project is bigger than this. I after I figure out my regular job, I was I overheard about that project. That project was. I, once I asked them, what is that project about? And I was told, this is a, this project, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I kind of say, have you heard about analogy of black cat? No? You see, there is a discussion between priest and uh, atheist guy. The priest says, looking for a god is like looking for a black cat in the dark room. And atheist said, oh, this is so hard, especially when it's not there. That discussion is analogy of the black cat. The project they tried to, to uh, actually explain to me was like a black cat. I was actually lost. What are you talking about? And except that guy, we are still in our team. Nobody knows a project in whole and it's hard to develop something like that when you have no idea what are you developing the that guy spec out many aspects of the project but still everybody was lost uh, i told my boss let me create a what i understand from this explanation as a prototype, or not even prototype, as a showcase. Because we had no idea how, what it, what, how we can create the UI for this project. We, we even didn't know it's going to be a web platform application. Everybody was on that, uh, uh, actually, understanding it's going to be a local app, native app, kind of like that. But uh, my boss was kind of want to get rid of me or something like that. He said, no. And the day later said, OK, yes, do it. I'm paying you for doing something. Do something. And uh, I start using AngularJS to creating prototype for the project. <laughs> and uh, when I saw uh, Nicole's tweet on the uh, on the Twitter, say, I want to speak about something. Say, OK, we need a title. I was reading that article on the Angular Next blog, and she needs the title. And I had a life experience with that. I just copy paste that title for Nicole. And for, because of the copyright thing, I added with the true story. Anyway, I, this, this blog is live on the Angular Next next.angular.io, go to the blog, you see the prototyping with Angular. You are all kind of Angular expert. 
have you heard have you ever done prototyping with angular and why you think is a good thing give me one two reason I, I, okay anyway everybody know oh, that's that's that stupid question but prototyping proof of concept that things work uh, for the technical people or non-technical people. Something alive for show people what we mean by saying how to do this stuff without having uh, lots of jibber jabber, HTTP calls, API calls, uh, unit test or whatever. We just wanna show we can create a form of address book is called prototyping. That means we show our uh, audience we can do that is not a final product, but is a proof of concept. Who done that? Who used the Angular not as a final pro production uh, platform, just for, point, uh, for proof of point? You did that, you did that. Why you did have... that? Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still and, here. <laughs> and <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh yeah, Zach. Hi. Sorry, sorry I didn't mean to interrupt. Alex is make more questions than answer, but that was awesome. <laughs> it's it's uh, uh, and why? Give me one reason why Angular is good for prototyping. You can create something interactive. That's not just wireframe. Okay. Yeah. Again. It's easy. It's fast. I can race you. I can do a, 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 a app with the menu in three minutes with the CLI. Of course, node is installed. It's <laughs> discriminatory if you want to bet on it. But it's fast. It's a good tool. It has all of the mocking tools for fake it to make it approach. And it really works. And if you decide go through the real production, your code is not lost. It's reusable for the team. As a, that means from showcase to prototype to prod. That that's a that's a that was the, the exploring that ability and working with the company and now we make everything around it. I wanna show you, I hope my boss doesn't find that link because I get fired, but I will show you the product we make based on that prototype, which all the bell and whistles, authentication, token-based authentication, authorization, microservices, AP, uh, public API calls, and uh, lots of others. NGR, heavily using NGRX. We done everything with NGRX. If you don't know what NGRX is, just go Google it because it's out of my, beyond my pay grade to tell you. This guy knows about the NGRX already. But, <laughs> uh, and, uh, that was that was a that was a reason because I see some of you maybe not even in Angular yet. Some of you maybe not even be in Angular. You don't find any reason to work on Angular. There is one very big reason to learn Angular. Yes, it's hard to learn. It, it was it take me seven days, sixteen hour a day. A study on the hero app to first to create my first tour of hero app but i read documentation from the one to end really i am i am obsessed with documentations and everything is well explained another reason to use angular as a prototyping because document i haven't seen other documentation that well formed yeah there is a a gap between the versions, of course, but they are good in general. You can get lots of the answer. The other reason is my personal reason to use in Angular as a prototype was material. You know, I always have problem with make things beautiful. My handwriting is awful. I cannot draw a line straight. I'm so bad with it. And I always work as a backend guy, 
C sharp, Java, and C++. I'm old. I'm older than you combined. But it's uh, that problem with me was I'm not a CSS guy. And I'm not saying I hate CSS. I'm not that guy. And but with the material, you have many of these things out of the box. The UI element out of the box. You have a stepper, you have linear uh, uh, customization, you have tabs, you have lots of buttons, you have beautiful matte icons, which Google uses everywhere. And this all is very easy to use and is really eye-catching presentation if you use the prototype as things. Okay, I think my 15, oh my God, after four minutes. Uh, the things I wanna show you was, this is kind of, it's from my computer, kind of the project we are for working with. This, as I told you, it uses the, because we talk about the NGRX, I want to, uh, sorry, RG, RxJS. Uh, Angular comes with the RxJS as a one of the library installed, but don't, uh, you don't need to be professional on the RxJS to use Angular. RxJS is mostly icing is on the cake, but Angular using it, but it's very kind of uh, uh, actually, Sorry if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Is 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 the Angular 401 is not Angular 101 using RSJS in the in the application. But one of the uses of, of we find the uh, if I show you just uh, uh, where is my Redux here? Come on, Redux. We use the NGRX as a state management. This is the tool you can get this extension for the, from the Chrome. You use it. As you see, the whole, the R project, the whole project X is around is two very big objects, service accounts and service locations. They are two big objects. We give them, actually we keep them from the, we give them from the, we take them from the API and we cache them in the NGRX store and we have lots of usage for that. One of the, one of the uh, things which is heavily, actually that was a feature they want us to do that, that was something we call it omni-search. Omni-search is, that means searching through everything and give me with that keyword everything you have. As I show you in the store, we had service location and we have service account. If I do something like that here, I don't know, a Smith. A Smith is everywhere. As you see, this result coming back with the Smith in the address, maybe, yes. And a Smith in the name. This, this is using the RxJX combined uh, objects, combined latest or something, or switch, no, 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 combined latest. Merge these two objects from the store and bring this, uh, this is the live search. This is that fast, even work on the one character, which I am gonna change it at least to three characters, it's written ridiculously 1200 matches. It's, Nobody goes to 1,200 matches and something like that. But I have to close that. See, I, want, I don't want to get fired. Anyway, it's, uh, uh, my point is, the, the conclusion is, if you, don't, if you are new to Angular and you have no kind of motivation or reason to learn Angular, there is one big one. It's beautiful on your resume. No, that wasn't one. <laughs> Secondly, it's a, it's a huge community like that is behind the Angular. Is well uh, struck from the one of the biggest company in the world, and and by the way, and Google use it a lot. We can say it's good if Google use it. Oh, 
don't know. I don't know. I, I won't say that. And uh, uh, <laughs> and the other thing is that my actually the shut up. What are you saying? Cancel. Okay. Why it doesn't cancel? Okay, cancel. It's that means if maybe you say, okay, nobody hired me yet. Nobody wants me as an Angular developer. Why should I learn it? The thing is, you can use Angular as not actual production. You can use Angular to show people how you, what you can do, even you want to build it on other platform. That was the conclusion of the talk. I'm done. I don't think you have any question. I hope not. But I'm here if you have a question. Do we have any questions? I want to see a three-minute prototype. Oh. <laughs> yeah, later maybe. <laughs> I promise you, after we release that, I have lots of, you know, Nicole told me, you can brag about something. That's exactly her word. I'm going to brag about that software later. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, I, I work in the linguistic department of the DOD. And uh, we create the application for NATO. And uh, that application this year is gone. Anyway, that was just a bad memory. I have a, a question. Do you have any um, favorite like libraries or modules that you reach to when you're prototyping, like stuff that, that makes life easier beyond yes. uh, Angular Material and NGRX? Yes. One of them, actually, I can name them because I want to exactly you know about the problem. First of all, <laughs> you, you call it stupid, but I love it. I always use the next version. What you saw is Angular 9. And I enabled IV six months ago. <laughs> this all you saw about the page, it was IV enabled build uh, application. And uh, Yes, one of the problem I had to I, I had to understanding that part of material was in a material data table. Looks so weird to me. Sorting, filtering, it doesn't didn't talk to me. I don't know. My IQ is not very high, but I find NGX data table, which they build it over that. We used it very gladly and very vastly in the application until uh, version 8, which broke that module. I start talking to the guy that created that, and they fixed it. Now, yesterday, I find out if it's IV enabled, it doesn't work as a change detection in the table. And I just uh, create an issue on the GitHub for that. I think they are so angry because they didn't answer me for now. But yes, we use Angel. And They're not angry, the, just, just busy. <laughs> yeah. uh, we use for the authentication and uh, authorization, we use microservice, we use Azure B2C. And uh, it's, uh, we, we use the, o, o, uh, the uh, open source o, OCDI or OCID, uh, like a, 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 that's a connector to the, to the getting that uh, object, getting that token. <laughs> And we uh, store token and other uh, information in the store, not in the, um, in the uh, uh, local storage or session storage. We put it in the store. We think it's safer, but who knows? That answer the question? Yeah. Thank you. OK, any other and, questions? And by the way, if you use Angular, just keep it up to date all the time and use awesome ng update command. It makes your life so easier. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much. I'm going to brag about that. Okay. <laughs>